trading? <laughs> Brahmin, what's your problem? Relax. Stop pushing this woman around. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. Like, what the fuck is happening here? What is this? This is a new evolved Brahmin. Brahmin, get out of here. Dog, this doesn't concern you. I'm trading with Carla, not you. Always happy. Hey everybody, welcome back to Falcon Plays Fallout 4 episode. I really lost a number at this point, but that's okay, the title should have the proper number. Uh, at the end of the last episode, after we finally established a place to actually trade items to, and um, helped out what was it, Trudy and her cam-addicted son, I was coming down to this little location over here because it's in my little raider. However, on the trip over here, I noticed uh, this woman. So let's go over here and talk to Trash Can Carla. Quite huh? the name over here. Hi, yeah, hi to you too. How are you guys doing over here, Brahmin? Hanging out over there, having a good time? Yeah, you are. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? You know, all three, really. Maybe information first, then the trading, and then the robbing. I don't know. Uh, we could threaten her. That would probably be the robbing. I don't want to sell anyone to rob her. She might give me some, probably, some good information here. So let's go to Diamond City first. Diamond City? Where's that? Directions. Hmm, figures. Just keep going until you see the skyline. Cross the river. You'll find the Great Green Jewel just inside the city limits. Okay. Hey, Carla. Hey there. Trading? <laughs> Brahmin, what's your problem? Relax. Stop pushing this woman around. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. Like, what the fuck is happening here? What is this? This is a new evolved Brahmin. Brahmin, get out of here. Dog, this doesn't concern you. I'm trading with Carla, not you. Always happy to make a sale. This guy's just all up in the grill over here, too. Like, hey, what's going on over here? Trading? Yeah, I want to get involved, too. Brahmin, get out of here. You're, you're an animal. A mutated one, no less. Boxing gloves. That would be pretty funny, too. Just walking around punching shit left and right. Uh, fragmentation grenade. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I'm not really looking for wep. A walking game. Oh, I kind of want to buy this just for the comical purpose of it. Just walk around fucking beating people up with a cane. I gotta buy it just for that alone, I'm sorry. <laughs> gotta do it. Apparel. Uh, black vest and slacks. Uh, farmhand clothing. Leather left arm. Mechanic jumpsuit. That could be pretty useful. T-shirt and slacks. Eh, just some stuff to look, huh? What about aid? Addicto, bloat fly, blood packs. Do you have, like, better prices out of curiosity to other people? That'd be pretty good. Like, if you have any radaways, you do at 144. It's the same price, really. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, accept this trade. Okay, so now what I could do if I wanted to take the scumbag route is just rob her, threaten her, and whatever, but I want to keep her around just for possibly future trades, so thank you for that, Trash Can Carla. How are we doing in our weight capacity? 148 of 240? That is actually... Oh, you know what? Let's put our equipment back on, because now we carry a bit more, since so we have to use this on, so... Chest piece, pocketed, pocketed, and... Girded? Was that what we're rocking here? And the assault gas mask? Are we fine now? I think we are fine now. Nope. Let me look at my character. Oh! <laughs> you're, you're, you're naked. Sorry about that. I might attract the wrong crowd here in the wasteland. Okay, now we're fine. I mean, she could pull it off, obviously. She's got the body for it, but, you know. Might attract the wrong sort of attention. What's going on over here? Okay. Buff out in Wonder Glue. Ooh, yes. Don't mind if I do. Bunch of beer bottles. I feel like we have a lot of already, like... Glass items back in the base, so we're fine. Buff out, bourbon, stim packs. Man, there's a bunch of drugs here. You can only imagine who actually lived here beforehand. Or still lives here. And they must live here. The fire's still running. Alright, let's move up to here. This is where this location should be coming up. It's fine over here. Everything's fine. Should probably consider taking off my stim... My, not my stim pack, but my pit boy light. Just so, if in case I have to do some stealthy around, nobody notices, like, this giant flashlight in the middle of the darkness here, but... Oh, <laughs> that's what I was talking about! Exactly what I was talking about! Okay. Oh my god, they're so fast, it's just so scary how fast they can be! Okay, hold up. I'm obviously in danger, there's no question about that. What if I lure them over to the, um... Trudy's area. Will that work? I see... I see dude over there. Can I pull out my sniper and try to make this happen? Or are they just gonna ambush me when I do that? I'm in caution now, so they kind of lost track of me a little bit. Maybe. I'm in danger again. 
Where are they at? Dogman, where are they at? Jeez. This is even scarier now that I lost track of all of them. I should have just probably faced them head on. But no, no, I decided to just run. And hopefully get a tactical advantage. And now this tactical advantage is basically the most scariest thing I've ever done now. Okay. Alright, motherfuckers. You wanna you wanna you wanna fuck? Uh, not not that way, obviously, but if you wanna you wanna mess around with me is what I meant, that sort of way. Then we will do it. We will do it. Please stand up. Okay. Radiation is a problem, obviously. I have a few radaways, it's not really the end of the world, but it's still relatively annoying. Should really learn how to time the swing too. Really got to learn how to time the swing on it. I would like to just basically get them, and when they run towards me, just kind of swing. Nah, too early. There we go. Excuse me. Hey. There you go. Radiation is a bitch. I'm still in danger. Yeah, I'd imagine there's probably a lot more in there. These guys travel in those hills that have ice packs, so... This is... I feel like something... Something is running. I thought so. You know, other than the hills have eyes, this actually rem they did remind me how they look of, um... I saw this movie, like, earlier this year, like a horror movie. It was, like, one of those, like, um, found footage ones. They were doing, like, some sort of report on... I forget the name of the title, but it was basically a found footage type of film. Where they were doing, like, uh, an investigation on... On haunted houses, like during Halloween, like they were basically going across the country and just um, finding out the 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 origins of them and how they all came about. And they were looking into like not only the haunted houses that are really big across the uh, U.S. anyway, but they were going through the ones that were like really backwater. And a lot of the um, quote unquote monsters in that movie look really reminiscent of that. If you guys have seen that film, let me know the title. I already forgot it, but um, if I I'm big. I know a lot of people don't like found footage movies, but I'm a big fan of them still. The Gorski Cabin. I I'm a big fan of them. Like, even if they're terrible, I'll just watch them. But, um, there's been a few good ones. I just feel like they mostly get a bad rap because just about anybody can make a found footage film. So, the majority of them tend to be bad. But on occasion, amongst, like, all the piles of shit that does come out of, um, found footage movies, you will find something relatively decent, so... Um, that one was actually pretty interesting just because of the whole haunted house, like, origin of it. It was pretty well done, I would say. Uh, nothing great, obviously, but it was like, this is an enjoyable movie where you watch it, and when you watch it, you're like, you know, why did I watch this? You know, at least I was kind of like, hey, you know, I had fun with it. It was cool. I forget the title of it right now. That purse, that is possibly a ghoul that's, um, sleeping, so. Let's fucking sneak up over you. I thought so. Dogman? I hit Dogman by mistake. I'm sorry, Dogman. You got a doggy? And you finished it off anyway. He was carrying a shot glass too. Jet. Take that. Root cellar? Oh my god, underground? <gasps> oh snap, son. Now I'm really terrified. This is like all the spooky setting of this making. Julia, this is old nighttime. I'm in some derelict of a cabin in the woods somewhere. This is basically just like nightmare fuel. It didn't happen. But you know what? I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, here's what we need to do. Should we take the rat away now, or just wait up until afterwards? Because I feel like I'm going to get some more coming down the line soon enough anyway, right? Especially after deal with a bunch of these guys. Let's see if there's anything we can make over here right now out of curiosity. Buff jets. Grape mentats. Plus five charisma, better barter for eight minutes as well. Hey, you know what? Sure, why not? Make that happen. Buff tats. Yeah, ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba. yeah I guess. Sure, why not? Make that happen as well, and buff jet, slow down time, more strength, endurance, max health. Yeah, sure, why not? Not gonna hurt anything. Psycho jet, slow down time, more damage, and damage resistance. This could be really good, especially for a melee class like I am. So, yeah. I would have loved a little bit of um, extra HP as well during the effect, but fine. We'll make that one happen too. And that's about it. Grenades? Nope. Healing? Nope. Radaways requires antiseptic. We could make a few radaways if we get some antiseptic and more purified water. Not really a big fan of the mines. Syringes. These are interesting. Chance to make the target non-violent for 30 seconds. Target believes the player has vanished as... Ooh. That's really interesting stuff right there. 
Should look more into that at one point. Utility. Cutting fluid. Hmm. All right. Well, we made a few. I do have that level up, too, don't I? That I haven't used up. I use that. I do that too often. Get points, never use them. I'm at level 8 now, is it? Level 9. Level 9. We have Locksmith already as much as we're going to go for a while. Black Widow is as high as it's going to go for a while. I almost feel like we should probably start thinking about the armor or even Blacksmith so we can start doing more stuff with our our actual um, constructing of items. However, since we are kind of being more melee focused now, I feel like we should probably go with Big Leagues. 40% more damage with melee weapons and gain a chance to disarm your opponent. So, you know what? 40% more damage on our swings could be really, really useful. So, absolutely, my friend. Okay. I have like a kind of a weird jack of all trades build happening. Tilt key, go away. I'm not looking for you. I'm looking for tab. Okay. So I think we are ready to go underground. It's terrifying as a that is. I'm gonna hold off on the radway. What I will do, however, is maybe just dump. Just like a, a quick little food over here. That's for a dog man, not for me. We're humans, we don't eat dog food. Dirty water, glowing fungus. I should have some rat roach stuff here. Guana bits, I still have to cook those. Uh, more rat chunks. Max AP 5 as well? Yeah, sure, why not? Alrighty. You ready for this one, dogman? Oh, wait a second. Bourbon, coffee cup, hot plate. Cool. Alrighty, let's go into the mouth of madness here. Oh, boy. I'm always interesting when you come into a new thing. Like, I'm not even supposed to be here. That's what's really amazing about the fog for me, like, when you start going into areas you're not technically supposed to be there yet. Unless, I don't know. Oh shit, you know what? Turn off the light, fam. Is there really a time in a Fallout game where you shouldn't be somewhere? I mean, it's open world for a reason. I mean, even if you're crazy enough, like, say in New Vegas, if you're crazy enough to go straight up to Vegas after you first get out of the uh, first town, and you're somehow smart enough or lucky enough to make it past the castle doors, I mean, I guess there's a... Always a way to be somewhere, too, then. Weapons workbench. Alrighty, puppers. Here's what I'm gonna do. I need you to take a look. How you doing, buddy? And find out if there's any enemies. Hey, boy. Think you can find something for me? What do you think? Any bad guys Found an enemy buddy? already. That's how it normally happens. They instantly find them. Where at, though? <laughs> Found enemy. He just comes over here and just stands over here. That way, huh? Okay. Let's do this shit. Now, with any luck, maybe they're asleep. Maybe they're all asleep. What do you think, puppers? Are they asleep? He's getting really angry now. <gasps> what in the world? I killed... Oh, no, I didn't. I'm trying to. This is Wayne Gorski. We killed Wayne Gorski. Is that a good thing? I'm not sure if killing Wayne Gorski was good, but Wayne Gorski's dead now. I mean, they, they are ghouls, relatively vicious ones. I mean, it's got to be not a bad thing, right? I hope that's not quest related at some point. I'm going to be really upset about this. Um, all right, there's radiation happening. So, really quickly, let's put on the old jumpsuit apparel. Give me some radiation protection at the very least. Okay, is it in here too? Yeah, it totally is in here too. Snap. Okay, let's try to make this as fast as possible. You collected an issue of the Wasteland Survival Guide. Diamond City is now permanently marked on your map. Cool, I, I guess. Uh, bottle cap mine. Radiation's gonna be a problem right now, but it's okay. We'll use the right away after we're done. I'd rather just do this in one go without having to, like, rush myself and miss a lot of good stuff here. Uh, turpentine. Braxel cleaner. Should just take everything, I guess. We'll check it out later. How about that? Grab everything, check it out later. Uh, cabinet is empty. Those are the radiation barrels right there. Don't sit there. <laughs> I don't want to sit there for a while and have a kick up our feet and have a good time. This is not a good time at all. Okay. We grab the majority of stuff there. That's Wayne Gorski's arm. I don't think we need that. Turn this off over here. Out of order sign. And plunger. Can't pick that up. 
Is that it? Are we done here? Let's move out of the way here. So... That was it, huh? Hmm. A little bit disappointing. I thought that this was going to be like, you know, some sort of crazy big underground dungeon with a bunch of these ghouls just roaming around, but it wasn't. My only fear again, as I mentioned, is I hope it's not quest related at some point or another. <laughs> it's kind of like, hey, um, you want to know about this incredible secret? Go talk to Wayne Gorski. Now that you are cool with us, she's not going to attack you. And I'll be like, oh, about that. Yeah, Wayne Gorski is dead. I called her a she, didn't I? He, I guess. With a name like Wayne, he's probably a guy. But you know, hey, you never know. I mean, there could be a guy, a girl named Wayne. What's it to you? You have a problem with girls being named Wayne? Let them be named Wayne. It's all fine. I, if I want to name myself, I'll, I'll call myself Sally. How about that? I'll call myself Sally. It's okay. What a problem with a guy being called Sally now, too? Check your privilege, huh? <laughs> yeah, just talk all this bullshit when I'm recording over here. All right, let's see. Uh, so not, that's much I really want to break down here. If I want to bring anything down, we'll do it back in my sanctuary area, which is probably where I should be going now because I feel like we're actually quite a bit overloaded as it is. So I want to continue moving and picking stuff up, which I really do. We have to unload at some point. Just drop a big load somewhere. And that's about it for here, huh? Not missing anything of value? Nope. Alrighty. Well, that was it for the uh, Gorski household over here. I was hoping for a bit more, but... I don't make the game, you know, that was Bethesda's fault. Blame Bethesda for having a small little short dungeon, I would say. I'm gonna call Todd Howard tonight and be like, Hey Todd, I was recording earlier today, dog, and I went down to this area, I thought it was gonna be cool, and then it was just Wayne Gorski hanging out. Not doing much. How do you feel about that, Todd? And Todd would be like, who the fuck are you? How do you know my number? Let's see. Uh, let's clear up this right away now because... Or this radiation now because... Um, it's kind of affecting my HP here a little bit. So we'll do that. And we'll follow it up with some... No, not that one. Let's just have... Another mold. Rat chunk should do it. Clear up, get my HP back at full. How much are we hearing right now? We're at 195 of 260. Yeah, we can do some more traveling about. No reason not to. Now, let's find out where to go from here, out of curiosity. Okay, I'm trying to unlock some more areas in the map. Going down this way does indeed bring us to a new location, it does seem. So, let's go down this side. Now, my only concern is more ghoulies, perhaps? What the hell is that? Over oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Those are bugs. Big bugs. Big giant bugs. Let's do a quick save over here and bring out the old rifle. <laughs> those better not be what they what I think it might be. Oh, those are just bloat flies. Okay. <laughs> you guys thought what I was thinking? Yeah. I was thinking castle door time. No, you just want to fight? You want to fight it up? That's fine. I'll, I'll fight all of you. Don't be shooting your juices at me. Batter up. Hey. Batter up, I said. Get out of here, Blowfly. Just swatch you like a dirty fly that you are. Get on down there. You got it, puppers? I'll find him dandy? Yeah, we got it. Next time, we should probably just sort of shoot him. A little bit easier to hit him that way, huh? Where are you going, pups? We're fine. They're dead now. The mean old Blowflies are dead. There's another body somewhere over here that I lose it. There it is. Okay. Puppy's just going crazy over here. He's really excited about something. So they were hanging out over here near the glowing fungus, huh? All right, we'll pick up the glowing fungus. My fear was that they were like hiding around like some sort of like you know irradiated like feral boss Gomer. Not Gomer. <laughs> Gomers are back, not the Gomers, but the Romers. What I obviously meant. There's a small little location here. Oh yeah. So we're definitely finding a settlement down this way too, huh? Unless it's just my settlement. It could be my settlement, I guess. The map kind of points out things that are already that you found. Is there like a way to make that more differentiate a little bit? Like it confuses me when I'm like, oh, I'm walking to a new area. Nope, I'm actually just walking to an area I've been to before. Like right now I have like a... No, this would be new. I think both of them would be new. Like a settlement and some sort of plant perhaps? Okay. We'll go down there soon. So I find out what's happening in here. Can I come in here? Ah, oh, teddy bear. I'll pick up teddy bear. 
Let's turn on the old Pip Boy light here. Why am I moving so slow? Am I overweight already? How did that happen? No, I'm not overweight. What the fuck happened? Why am I moving so slow? I guess it's, it's inside. I can't move fast. I don't know. I'm confused. Squirrel on a stick. That's mine now, buddy. You died protecting it, huh? Oh, well, too bad. All right, puppers. I think that's all it's in here. Why am I moving so snail puppers, please? Yo, yo, yo. What's going on with this? Oh. I hit cap locks. Oh, with cap locks, you move slow. Not sure why you want to do that. I guess when you're sneaking around. I hit cap locks by mistake when I was trying to turn on, turn on the uh, pit boy light. Interesting. All right. So we have a plant and uh, maybe another settlement as well. Let's go find out what's happening in the settlement first, maybe. That's probably the best course of action. I'm going to hold on to my light just because it'll look a bit brighter on YouTube for you guys. And more importantly... Well, actually, not more importantly, but the downside is the fact that... I might be a bit more of a parent eye for targets. We have another shack coming up, I think. Mushrooms that I cannot pick up. That's disappointing. Plantation down there. Oh, that's... Oh, here it is. Come on, puppers. I think we're safe. We have a settlement here. Let's see if they want to join the Minutemen, too. How you guys doing? Anybody here? Man, you guys have like a whole electrical system happening here, too. Hello! You guys want to go bowling? No? No bowling? Well, we found Abernathy Farm. Abernathy? Abernathy. I'm not sure. One or the other one. Uh, so, let's come in here and maybe we could greet. Oh, they have a kitty cat here. Puppers, they have a kitty cat. Don't attack the kitty cat puppers, okay? We don't know them. We don't want to piss these people off by you attacking some random cat. How you doing, everybody? Some potatoes over here. Can I... Definitely can open this up. Um... Hello? I mean, there's gotta be people here. There's a Brahmin right there. I don't think that Brahmin looks after itself. It is nighttime. Maybe they're already upstairs asleep or something. I'm not sure where the hell these people are. There's a paint over here. Let's not steal this yet, huh? Man, these guys are quite safe. They're all the way up here. Just hanging out, maybe. They're not here. Hey! Who lives here? Hey, you jerks. You have a guest over here. Treat me with some respect, you know? Like, hey, how you doing, traveler? Like, you know, you want some water? A little bit irradiated, but that's okay. You're here to, like, you know, possibly make a peace with us to join the cause? But no, there's nobody. This is kind of weird, actually. What is this all about? There should be people here, right? Is this, if there's a workshop, maybe I don't have to take over this area. I could just start building here, maybe? I don't know. This seems kind of weird to me, though. Cook some food over here pretty soon. Here's the workshop, right? We can search it. You are an ally. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. How do I strike an alignment? Cat, are you the owner? Are you the owner of this fine establishment, Cat? No, you're not. You're just having a good time. Look at this guy. He's just, he's just relaxing next to the potatoes. Oh, it's kind of cute, actually. Alrighty, I'm going to take a look at this um, off-camera a bit more closely and see if I can find the owners here. If not, I guess we just continue onwards and come back to it later. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support us a lot. I will catch you next time.